show of hands, how many people did not enjoy studying history? I'm the only one. <laughs> I had a teacher in the sixth grade, Mrs. Gray. She was elderly. As a matter of fact, she had taught my father in grade school, and he was 40 years older than I. And she insisted on memorizing date after date. Napoleon Bonaparte defeated at Waterloo 18th of June, 1815. It doesn't tell you a hell of a lot, does it? Why was he defeated? Was it the 17th or the 19th? Did, the, did his troops turn around and run? They raise a white, white flag. Anyway, we're talking about a date today, 23rd of February, 1945. I didn't uh, have to memorize that date. I told my wife to be, I'd like to be married on the 23rd of February. <clears throat> and she said, why? I said, so I'll always remember when Joe Rosenthal took a picture up on Mount Saravachi. I'm not sure she bought that. <laughs> But I can tell you, in all the years we've been married, I've never missed an anniversary. <laughs> Marine Corps is, embarrassed, is in, in uh, taking the picture that Joe Rosenthal took on Suribachi as, as an icon. I think it's an icon probably now second only to the Globe and Anchor. But they have never yet told the true story. There's been about seven booklets put out, uh, primarily pointed towards the flag raising. The last one was 1995, and with this one they got the closest that they've been to why there was a second flag. They have named the name of the officer, our battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel Chandler Johnson, who had the 2nd Battalion, 28th Marines. They have named him as the one who ordered the flag. Actually, they haven't told you about the second flag and they haven't even explained why we put the first flag up. Normally, the Marine Corps goes in, they take over their objective island and after they secure it, they put up a flag. Now this flag went up fifth day in a battle of 36 days and uh, I'd like to explain that a little bit today. <clears throat> in about November of 1944, our battalion commander called us into the war room, brought the battalion staff and three company commanders. The center of the room was a table and there was a mock-up of an island and it uh, had a little sign that said Iwo Jima, we had never heard of it. It was about five and a half feet long, uh, representing five and a half miles, as you've seen in the movie here, and about two and a half miles across. Now it was pork chop shaped, and don't try to say that fast, about two and a half miles long, or wide, as said at the northern end. We walked in and we looked at it, and it's probably what they term today as shock and awe. How are we going to climb that volcano 555 feet high, let alone fight your way up? Now you can figure that's about the same height as a 60-story skyscraper. The uh, intelligence officer was briefing us, why do you have to take Iwo Jima? Well, it's 700 miles south of Japan, 700 miles north of Saipan and Tinian. Saipan and Tinian, where the B-29 bombers were stationed. To get to Japan, they had to fly right by Iwo Jima, either over it or beside it. <clears throat> and on Iwo Jima, you had Japanese fighters. You had a radio that was notifying the Japanese islands of the arrival of the B-29 bombers. Once they got past the fighters at Iwo, they met the fighters in Japan. Once they dropped the bombs and turned south, they again met the fighters in Japan. Iwo Jima because they'd refueled and rearmed. The losses were unacceptable and this was the reason for taking the Iwo Jima. Once we got the island, we could put our P-51 long-range fighters there 
and they could accompany the B-29s into, into Japan. We also put uh, air rescue, air sea rescue on the island. Some people have seen a, a book out and also an article said that uh, Iwo Jima wasn't necessary, but you can't can't tell that to the uh, Army Air Corps people. First B-29 landed, emergency landing, on the 4th of March while the battle was uh, taking place. The 4th of March till the middle of August, about five months, I think, the end of the war, there were 2,200 B-29s landed at Iwo Jima. And this represents 24,000 Army Air Corps personnel. Mm -hmm.